What's going on guys? Today we're going to be talking about the S1R from Olight. Now Olight was kind enough to provide this flashlight for me for a review. That does not in any way affect my review of it. I've told you guys since the beginning that I will be doing honest reviews regardless of the fact I get something for free. And I told Olight this and they were perfectly fine with that and they welcomed honest reviews of their products. Um, I really enjoy working with this company. Um, you know, they're very, very cool to work with and uh, they're the f second company uh, that I've had the privilege of working with. So, let's begin. Reasons why I love this flashlight. Uh, I've carried this for over three months now and this has been the only flashlight I've carried for my EDC. So I've been carrying this every day, using it just about every day. You know, some days I go without it, but it's always in my pocket. And it is only 1.29 ounces, just under 1.3 ounces. So it's extremely lightweight, which is something I look for in an everyday carry flashlight. It has to be lightweight or I'm not going to carry it. And the other thing is function. This little flashlight offers a ton of function and features, which makes it really, really cool. Uh, one of the cool things I like about it is the Olight Baton series has this blue PVD coated bevel and button ring. And that's just a really um, unique feature uh, that lets you know you're carrying an Olight, you know, it's a it's a company branding um, that looks really cool, you know, it's not some big gaudy logo or something like that, but that lets you know you're carrying an Olight. I really love the pocket clip. That is something that a lot of companies do not get right. And the reason Olight gets it right is if you see that little triangle right in there, that really lets it grab onto your pocket and makes it really, really secure. Um, you guys know uh, around most pockets you have that little um, bit of double stitching usually. So it's, uh, you know, maybe a half centimeter or so. And that allows it to fit right in between there, the top of the pocket clip and that little triangle. And it just grabs that bit so it's not going to come out of your pocket. I've never had a problem with this coming out of my pocket. Really innovative feature that I've seen is the magnetic charging base. Um, you know, not only is the tail cap magnetic for charging, but any metallic surface that is able to have a magnet stuck to it, you can use it um, to stick the flashlight to and uh, work hands free. But I really love that in it, they place that little light so you know red, it's still charging, and then green, you're good to go. And they haven't sealed the battery in there, which is really good. So it takes those CR123 batteries, and you can buy those um, from Olight, or you could find some other company if you have a specific brand you like to buy you can still charge them and then just carry around a couple and do it that way if uh, you don't carry around say a battery bank you know I have this anchor battery and all I have to do is plug it in charged. So, I actually just finished charging it a little bit ago. But And then, they also send you this really nice, it's kind of a microfiber or kind of a, I don't know, suede type uh, on the outside. And this pouch can hold your charging cable. Um, I actually use this in my backpack for a few, a few items. Um, and then, you know, it's big enough to where you can put the flashlight in there as well as the charging cable. So that's really cool. It's a really nice, high quality bag. And 
you guys saw me put it in that glass of water. Um, I have definitely tested the IPX8 waterproofness. I have accidentally put through, through my washer two or three times. And, you know, IPX8 is only rated for about 30 minutes, and I think my washing cycle is about 45 minutes. Uh, and it has not failed me at any point. I've taken it right out of my pocket after realizing it. It was in the washer, and it's worked perfectly. No needed, didn't need a time to dry out or anything like that. So that is really great. Definitely um, very high quality standards from Olight. And it's very tough. Uh, I really, the only real wear that you guys can see is that little bit on the um, switch right there. And other than that, the uh, that mil spec coating on that pocket clip has not even gotten a scratch on it. Uh, I was worried at first about maybe scratching the lens, but it's bulb up carry, and I have not had a single scratch on that lens. Uh, that is a TRR optic lens and it's a very high quality lens paired with that Cree XML2 LED um, and it throws a really balanced beam and I've actually used it a few times in place of my headlamp while hiking and then around camp on overnighters and stuff like that and it throws a really good beam. Um, awesome you know you've got 0. 0.5 to 900 lumens 900 lumens is a turbocharged mode um, that lasts for 30 seconds and then it goes down i believe to 450 lumens um, so it has and that is because another innovative feature i've never seen another company do this in such a small flashlight they actually have um, a thermal protection unit inside this flashlight so it doesn't overheat and burn out your bulb which is really really cool so it retails for about $65 you can find it cheaper and then Olight does a ton of sales on their website so they had it uh, a few maybe about a week ago uh, where you buy one of these and then they throw in an i3e EOS for a dollar. Or I saw another one uh, maybe a month back or so where you could buy a charging cord for a dollar with no other purchase. You know, they, they are really good about sales. Um, and I'm going to put links to not only their website where you can view all the products, but also their U.S. store as well as their Instagram. If you guys want to see more pics of this, by the way, um, link to my Instagram below as well. I, I do a ton of product pictures, um, and most of them are before you guys are going to see anything on camera. So it's a really great way to keep up with my channel, see what I'm working on, and stuff like that. But, you know, that's really all I have to say about this flashlight. It is just an incredibly good quality flashlight it's not going to break the bank and Olight is really good about their products um really quick before i go just wanted to do some uh size comparisons you know if you guys are worried about it being um a slightly bigger flashlight i have no problems with it i don't even notice it in my pocket uh, this is uh, the i3e EOS. This was not the one that was on sale. This is a uh, limited edition. Uh, 3,000 pieces were made. Um, solid um, copper and brass PVD coating. Um, this is actually the only Olight I've bought. Uh, but just for that thickness comparison, we'll put that down there next to it. Um, so you guys can see, you know, that would basically fit inside of it. Um, Next, previously reviewed, the S1A. Honestly, my money is on the S1R. I just love that it's rechargeable, and even though it is... Sorry, I got some reverse... It doesn't want to... The magnets are repelling each other, which is pretty funny. Um, but, sorry. Um... 
a little bit thinner than the S1R or the S1A. Um, so we've got that for the size comparison. And then a budget flashlight. I know a lot of you guys have these um, very cheap on Amazon. That is blown out of the water by that. Uh, this is the Hiawasi Ultrafire. So, very small in comparison. And I know a lot of people carry this. And if you guys are looking to upgrade, definitely check out Olight. The last one is a beast. The Olight, sorry, fun one. Olight S2R. This is its big brother. So for comparison right there. This is a much larger flashlight. And I think this is 1020 lumens, I want to say. And you get, that's turbo mode, by the way. And you get that 900 in the S1R. So it's not too much of a difference in a smaller package with the same type of features. Now, that's really all I wanted to cover with this. If you guys have any suggestions for anything I missed, please don't hesitate. I absolutely enjoy constructive criticism. Uh, it helps me to develop better videos and anything that I've missed um, will help me be able to get better product testing for companies such as Olight. Uh, maybe doing more for Olight in the future. I'm almost done uh, with the S2R. This has been a backpack flashlight for me as a backup. But I'm almost done testing that as well. Uh, so that's the next one you're going to see. And then Olight has actually uh, contacted me again and they want me to review um, their new headlamp. And I haven't responded to that yet. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm kind of debating it because I felt really bad about not being able to do this fast enough for them. Um, not that they were pressuring me, but for me, you guys know, I haven't been able to get out videos as quickly as I would like to um, with my job and everything. But, that being said, hope you guys like this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And have a great day.